Hello and welcome to day three of the School for Wizards 12 Days of Winter with me, Sage Lee. Uh, welcome to today's topic, which is spells. Now let me ask you this. Have you ever cast a spell before? Well, maybe you have, even if you haven't known that you're casting a spell. Because think of it this way. When you tell an exciting story, you're casting a spell. Like think about that campfire story late at night. Everybody's in rapt attention. Have you ever sang a song or been moved by a song? It cast a spell on you. Have you ever watched a movie and been in rapt attention the whole time? A, ca a spell was cast on you. And was that a bad thing? No, it wasn't. <laughs> and this is one of the things that it's really important to note that uh, spell casting is not always a bad thing, right? We think of spells as something happening from witches or wizards that makes us do something that we don't want to do, but the ultimate example of that is the stage hypnotist that makes people bark like a dog or cluck like a chicken on stage. But in truth, the spells that we cast for each other all the time are spells of beauty. They're spells of healing. Next time you tell a story, tell someone a story that relates to how they might heal or tells of the healing of something else or someone else. Um, those are the kind of spells that we need to be telling each other all the time. And there are very specific spells that you can use, forms that you can use that have a greater effectiveness that make your spell more likely to take effect. And we learn that in the School for Wizards live events. So if you're curious about that, then uh, go on over to the schoolforwizards.com and click on the live events tab and it will tell you our next um, event that's coming up. Uh, it's called the Manifestation Weekend and it is really powerful. Uh, see you tomorrow for the next installment of the 12 Days of Winter. Bye for now.